Hey guys, Saka here. I want to give a quick little rundown of the character I'm currently leveling. I am leveling a Blood Magic Golem Necromancer, which is kind of like, ooh, that's a bit spicy. And also, hang on, Saka, you meant to be making a poison build. What happened to that? My poison build plays exactly the same as my um, current Tornado Shock character, so I just didn't want to play kind of the exact same build twice, I just wanted to delay it a bit with the golem build. I've wanted to play a golem build for a really, really long time, and I finally got a bunch of wealth just lying around, and I picked up all the jewels I needed really cheap, so I was like, fuck it. So I'm just loving that, I'm made up like 39, so I'm just like showing you a little bit of something just so you can kind of see how the leveling process works. Uh, but yeah, you just sort of run around, complicate stuff, full lightning stuff, and it's like pew 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 pew. So we proc EE, -E, we do curse on hit shenanigans, and it's like, yeah boy. Pick up mobs, and this is like the first proper summer I've played in quite a while. You can press all these like buttons if you want to see them. Like, wow. Um, the actual like mechanics of this build. So if you don't know, there are a bunch of golem jewels, and all of these jewels interact with your golems, increasing the count, uh, maximum count you can have, the damages that they do, etc. And yeah, they're pretty good to level with. Surprisingly, this is even before. My phone is now ringing. This is even before you can equip um, the clay shapers. This is just with a bunch of jewels in the tree. And as you can see, it's actually rather tasty, tasty level levels. So let me quickly knock out Duressa, go through the skill tree real quick. And then I'll answer this phone call. And we can just get on at it, boys. But yes, oh yes, mm, Taki showing that that next level twink leveling. Oh my god, one's going. That twink leveling uh, experience. Oh, okay, cool. So what have I currently got in my skill tree? Hmm. So right now we've got a plus one tabula. They're like 50c in hardcore, surprisingly cheap. Uh, Flame Golem, Spell Echo, Ellie Focus, GMP, Minion Damage, Fire Penetration. Eventually I'll be using it in powers and stuff, and I know you don't want to use Ellie Focus, but, you know, that, well, that will change as we get more levels, and then just, like, whatever, just resist gear. And 7 League Step, this entire build is actually built around 7 League Steps. It's pretty exciting. So, this is the core fundamentals of the skill tree. You get all the jewels, and what are these jewels that you were talking about, Taki? What are these amazing golem jewels so boom this is the big one the anima stone anime stone can summon one additional golem at a time if you have three you get another one so you get one base plus this gives you two more so that gives you three then clay shaper then clay shaper boom five golem build pog champ my phone is ringing like a pro so come down through here one anime stone primordial might make sure like golems will aggro and ting seems good fam then you get uh, one eminence early on just to boost the leveling because they give them a bunch of like, armor. And everything else is harmonies, and harmonies just make your golems nice and fat. Bruh. So this is what my final skill tree will look like. You can see I just pick up all the life nodes and I go blood magic for the bands. Uh, you'll see it's a total 7 point, just shy of 7.4k life at level 95 with 256% movement speed. Fucking hell, Taki! So how are we doing that? We're going Dos Clay Shaper, Devo's Devotion. Seven league step. Mm, mm, gotta go quick, gotta go quick, gotta go quick. We run one essence worm with a haste for more, gotta go quick action. And it procs my necro buffs. And flesh offering affects me. And yeah, the plan is I've made a really zoom, 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 gotta go zoom, zoom, zoom build. With like 10 jewels, a bunch of life. If you want to use actual gear, like not go full Mimi with seven league steps and Devedos, you can get close to like 9, 10k life. The Devedos actually serves quite a good purpose in the build because the build is quite deck soft and with this Devedos Devotion and 1 plus 1 Corrupted Amulet that I bought earlier, um, I have very high dexterity. Oh, and Biscos does work with minions. The reason why I am using a plus 1 Ami is I play duo and I'm playing with a Slayer. The Slayer's got 20% cull, so he's going to be getting most of the cull rates and us both using Biscos when he's got 20% cull. It just feels a bit mer, but for solo play, I will use Abyssos, and I have to just have another Dex piece on the swap somewhere, or like spec into like a node or something. But yeah, this is how I'm leveling it. It works. It's pretty good. Haven't even got clay shapers yet, which might get two extra golems. Seems good, good. I'm Taki. I've got a phone. I'm pointing at my penis. Have a good day. Bye bye.